Twain's new book, Gone to November, is out in stores now. And I'm getting ready to sit down and talk to him about some memorable moments he spent behind bars, what fans can expect from this book, and his new music. Congrats on the book. Let's just start with there. Let's start with that. Did you plan on releasing it, or were you just using it as therapy in the time, like to just yeah, get through was, the day? It wasn't my idea to release it. My homie had idea, mm -hmm. so I was just having something to look forward to when, I, when it's time to lock up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, I was so used to, I am used to staying up so late because I work late in the studio every night. Mm -hmm. And um, back there, you got to lock in at a certain time. I forget what time it was. I want to say like 11 or 10, 40, something like that. And so I'm just up mm -hmm. in the cell, you know what I mean? Everybody else was used to locking in, going yeah. straight to sleep. I didn't know how to do that, so I had to have something to look forward to every night, and that was to write, my, write whatever happened during the day. So are we getting all of your diary, or are we kind of just yeah, getting... Yeah, that's all of it. That's everything. Yeah. Wow. How many pages? About how many? Like, I don't know. Just hundreds and hundreds. You just... <laughs> Not hundreds and hundreds, no. <laughs> no but, but it's a lot. It's yeah, a lot. It's, yeah. A, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. What do you hope people get from reading this now? You know, this was six years ago, a time in your life that is, you know, long gone now. But what are you hoping that they get out of this such story? Um, honestly, uh, uh, if you are, if you are a fan and, um, I know for a fact I don't give out a lot of personal information about myself unless it's through music and it's up to you to believe if the line was true or not. But uh, yeah, so um, I, I, if you're gonna get anything, I guess you get a, a little inside of me or you get a little inside personal whatever. I guess to find out things you didn't know I do, or uh, find out ways you didn't know I think, or things, thoughts of things you didn't know I, my thoughts on. Yeah. Uh, hopefully that's in, in there somewhere. There's a, a piece in the book where you say you don't think you're going to keep up or connect with anybody after you're out of here. Maybe the COs, right? You say that. Mm -hmm. Have you done that? Do you still talk to them? or And is there anybody else that you may be like, how is, how is Coach? How is A1? Like, um, the COs. There's one of them that, was, that I'm still real cool with, and he's cool with all the rest, and so that makes it so we all still kick it. Yeah. They were actually just at the at the autograph signing, right. all of them, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I've, I haven't heard from any of the prison, the homies that I was locked up with, uh, nobody, yeah. actually nobody. Yeah. What do you I hope think they are right, though. Yeah. yeah, and Jamaica. I hope he's all yeah, right. I hope all of them okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah they what, took Jamaica, man. It's cold. <laughs> yeah. What do you think was the dopest piece of advice though that you got while you were in there? Uh, I would say the, the the best the best advice that I got back there was. To, to keep your um, to keep your towel on your on your cell when you're doing things you don't want mm -hmm. about you know what I mean and your cell, your towel on your cell is supposed to mean you you're taking the number two gotcha you know what I mean <laughs> that's what the towel on your cell is supposed to mean but the best advice I was taught you know man, was to to find a find a pattern mm -hmm. and when you use the bathroom and when you actually do use the bathroom and you find a pattern. And when you want to do things that you ain't supposed to be doing back there, you mean you, you never break your pattern and you never do it when you're not supposed to be doing it. You do it, you keep it doing your pattern. Gotcha. Exactly. Gotcha, gotcha. So they probably think that I, I did every day. <laughs> you talk about a lot in the book. I feel like they were like... He's you know, nasty, bro. <laughs> Wait, I am? That's, <laughs> That's what you hit on up in there. <laughs> um, let's talk about your faith for a second, because you talk mm -hmm. about like every day you had to pray, you read your Bible. How did that part, I mean, I think that's going to be shocking for people to know that that was, sounds like it was what grounded you the most while you were in there. Oh, um, my, my grandma, I've been, my faith been, I've always, always been a believer, and mm -hmm. I'm always, I'm straight. My grandmother always had me right since a baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing's ever changed. Yeah. Yeah, so I've already read the Bible before I went in. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's what's up. All right, let's talk about these visitors. Talk about who came to visit you, and maybe somebody that you were a little shocked that came to visit you. Like, you were like, damn, he came to see me. Um, 
Truthfully, it was everybody when I say that and they came to see other than my mama. Mm -hmm. It was everybody because I know what you got to go through. You know what I mean? Just to come see me, they, and then, and you know, they put a little extra sauce on it because you was coming to see me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. sometimes you're, you, you run into some, sometimes they ran into the guards on the wrong day. You know what I mean? So, and sometimes they got a little extra saucy with them. And, you know, sometimes the person that came to see me would have a story to tell when they come in there about what they just went through. Yeah. And to know that they actually had to go through things like that just to come see me. You know what I mean? So, but uh, as far as surprised, um, I wasn't surprised, but I was, uh, I was overjoyed when people like Tracy, people who, you know, just people of that sort that, yay, did people like to have, yeah. have way too much to be doing. You yeah. know what I mean? Way too much to be doing other than coming through some damn jail, getting checked and searched to come see Tom. Yeah, but they yeah. love you. Like, the fans yeah, love you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm saying, you know, you, but that's, when you sitting up in there every day, you know what I mean? You looking like, who want to come yeah. in here and see me? You know what I mean? I mean so that's, to go up there and get dressed, I know when I get dressed, but to go ahead and walk up there and see those people and see their faces and see how joyful they are just to see you. I mean, that was surprising in itself. Now, when Drake came, he gave you bad news. <laughs> Tell me how that went. Like, did he was like, man, I'm sorry. You know, like, did he break it to you lightly or you just like went straight in with it? Man, I swear, where's the camera? I, and please, anybody that know me real well, when you see this and know whatever, please tweet and vouch for me. I have a very, very, very terrible memory, and I swear to God, I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> I just did like three, four in, in, interviews. And I just kept it moving, like, yeah, yeah, Drake, yeah. Uh, so uh, for clarification, I that did not, what, it may not have happened. It, whatever it was, it happened. I just got a badass memory. So you don't know who the girl was. Uh, what are we talking about? That first of all. So about. apparently, in, in the book, there's a part in the book where you say that he came in and told you that he had smashed one of your, gir oh, your girls. Oh, when he yes. wrapped up. Oh, I wasn't worried about that. I mean, <laughs> man, you know, I was just, you know, that's just how life go when you locked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. But she's done. You moved on. Life is good. Life is yeah. good. Will you rap about that? Do you think it'll end up on a, a song? Maybe you two might, you know. No, no. No. She still be texting me and stuff, you know. Like, stop texting me, too. For real. Because it still hurt. Does it really? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But you now I remember, though. Yeah, he rapped. I don't know who you were after. I don't know. When you in jail, though, even your, your side, 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 side is your main. <laughs> when you in jail. I, wish I could talk to you yeah, all day. When you in jail, it could be somebody. When you, was, when you was out of jail, you ain't never text her back. You ain't call her when she called you. You couldn't tell, what, you couldn't tell her what color her hair was. That's how much you ain't see it. But when you in jail, whew. If she don't answer that phone when you call, Lord have mercy. <laughs> All right, can we talk about music? Because you tweeted, it mm -hmm. was a little cryptic. Everyone was like, is he retiring? So for clarification, are you quitting the game of music? No, I was retiring from uh, using um, certain beats. Was these beats we have been using, I'm retired from them bitches, them bitches, thank you. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right, well, don't worry about hearing me on them beats no more. That's all it was. Do you feel like there is a light at the end of this tunnel? Do you think like, oh, <laughs> is that how somebody else referred to yeah. it? Damn. <laughs> um, no, it's all good. Um, and like I said, even if I don't see a light at the end of the tunnel, uh, if you are a fan of mine, go and get behind me and know that if there's a wall at the end of the tunnel, I'm going to bust that bitch down. And guess what? There's a lot of light on the other side. Now, where, what are you thinking in terms of music? Like, what can you tell us? Like, more mixtape stuff? Or do you think you'll do some more stuff with Tidal? Like, how do you think you'll um, roll out this music? Whatever, however I can get it out, out there, it's going to get out there. But I know for a fact um, I'm going to always do the mixtape thing because I got too much music sitting around. And, um, I, I mean, I, I be looking at I me, mean, what are you recording it for? So you got to put it out. And um, I got a real good relationship with the mixtape world. 
you know what I mean? Mixtape is a part of Lil Wayne. You know I mean, that's a part of my history. I, there's a lot of people that put mixtapes out, but everybody know the world stopped when I put one out. So it's not, my mixtapes are different. So for me not to put out mixtapes anymore, that'll be sad for people. So Yeah. Well, then lastly, because they're wrapping me up, how are you and Baby? I mean, are you guys cool outside of all of the business stuff? Like, are you guys still cordial? And, and you think like, you know, you guys will have a friendship again? I'm late. I'm 34, baby. I'm too old for friends. You guys are more like family, actually. So friend actually is a little bit kind of like dumbing it down. You guys are definitely like fam. No, his last name isn't Carter, baby. He's not family. That's the best. Well, that's it from here in New York City. I'm Jasmine Simpkins for HipHollywood.com.